Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture 16. Uh, we have been uh, working with the Langley's planetary equation and we were trying to reduce it in terms of f r, f theta and uh, f a. So, in that context, if you uh, if we go back, so this is the equation for uh, the dou r by dou e we have uh, worked out. Okay. So, if we now expand this equation and combine the terms of u r and uh, u theta together. So, let us combine it here in this place it, itself. So, dou r by dou e then uh, this can be written as the term with u r first we combine. So, that becomes minus u a minus a times r a square sin a square theta cos theta, this cos theta gets multiplied with this and then from this equation to this part quantity in the bracket has to be multiplied by sin theta and added. So, we add to this r sin theta cos e into 1 minus cos e. and this multiplied by u r cap and thereafter the theta term we pick up and write here. So, all these equations are pretty lengthy to work with. In this case here for okay, here one more term is there once we multiply it with cos theta. So, because cos theta we have taken inside, so we should write here minus a cos theta. And similarly, here uh, inside we have not multiplied, so we need to multiply that also. So, we need to complete that part. r sin theta cos e times sin theta, u r part is getting multiplied. So, this will be sin a square theta cos e and then minus e r sin a square theta divided by 1 minus e a square and times u r cap. Similarly, here in this place once uh, this term we are taking this term. So, we have to multiply and this term will be minus a minus minus dot gets minus sign will absorb inside. So, that minus minus dot gets plus a sin theta okay. and then the next term we have to multiply. So, r a square and that minus minus this also gets reduced to plus and r square term it remains there, this term becomes q. So, sin q times a 1 minus c a square 1 minus c cos e. So, this is the term we have picked up and written here and thereafter we pick up this term and write it here. So, this will be with plus sign r sin theta into cos theta cos e divided by minus A 
and this is u theta okay. Now, whatever the terms we can cancel, we can cancel it. So, for the next page we go. Minus a cos theta, the first term we are picking it here. From here, r square sin square theta a times 1 minus c a square times 1 minus c cos e, we are taking it outside. As you will see, that some of the terms they cancel out. The first term then from this place, once we take it, so here the cos theta is remaining r we have taken outside. So, one r will be there. So, r cos theta and the same way the other terms can be written cos e times here we can write a times 1 minus a square. Okay. Next, we are taking up this term. So, because we have taken this term outside the bracket, so accordingly this term appears here and then plus a e times 1 minus e cos e. And this bracket closed here, then the and this is u r cap. The same way, the next term we can write as related to theta, related to u theta, so r sin theta. a cos theta cos c times 1 minus c a square a times c cos theta 1 minus c cos e u theta cap. Now, whatever the terms can be dropped out, we will uh, cancel it. Here we have 1 minus e cos e, in this place we have 1 minus e cos e. Dropping any term, it will cause a lot of problem. So, here uh, if you look in the next step, I will write for the clarity in the next step. R cos theta, then we are expanding it A cos E minus a times e a square minus minus that gets plus a times c a square cos e plus a e minus a e a square cos e times 
times u r cap okay. and plus this term here is sin theta Really, we expand it here r times sin square theta plus a cos theta cos e minus a e a square cos theta cos e and then from this place minus a e cos theta plus a e a square cos e cos theta cos theta cos e in bracket closed times u theta cap. Now, whatever the terms is uh, can be dropped out, we will drop it. This term and this term cancels. So, the above equation then gets reduced to r sin square theta so we have here r cos theta and then this term and this term C minus E. Okay, so for one step I will save here by writing this quantity quantity a times cos e minus e is nothing but r cos theta. So, this whole term then gets reduced to r times cos a square theta. So, this term is nothing but r times cos a square theta. So, this plus this that makes it r. So, this term will the second term then gets reduced to a simple format. Similarly, here in this place this term is r cos theta. Okay. So, therefore, we can immediately see that this term and this term this cancels out okay. leaving out with uh, minus a cos theta times u r cap and plus a sin theta and from here we will have r sin theta divided by a times 1 minus e a square minus e cos e and then r coming from this place. So, this is equal to r. So, we make it r square u theta cap. Okay. Uh, already we have written here this part. 
now we have to look into can we simplify it little bit more so whatever the relations we are aware of so you will utilize those relation and insert here in this place to simplify it so this quantity is then can be written as r sin theta a sin theta plus r square sin theta e cos e minus e this times u theta cap so we are utilizing those relationships which we have derived earlier in the uh, in our uh, earlier lectures here we have replaced this quantity by r cos theta see here uh, the part uh, the substitution we have done here in this place this is 1 minus e cos e we have replaced by the quantity cos theta divided by cos e minus e so look back into the lectures there you will find all these uh, derivations so we have got to this point now cos theta cos theta here cancels out this part and this part it cancels out okay and rr also will cancel out so th this will get simplified to minus a cos theta ur cap plus a sin theta r sin theta divided by 1 minus e square times u theta okay with this substitution now uh, we have got the do r by do e and therefore do r by do e can be written as minus f dot f theta times u theta cap and f a times u a cap dot do r by do e which is minus a cos theta u r cap plus a sin theta here sin theta we are taking it outside the bracket and writing it this way 
this has been taken outside the bracket 1 plus r by 1 minus c a square u theta. And this is the dot product here, therefore, this gets reduced to minus minus dot gets plus f a f r We will we'll write it this way uh, a cos theta times f r that gets minus minus plus and thereafter the next one minus a sin theta 1 plus r by 1 minus c a square f theta. So, this is dou r by r is not a vector, it is a potential function we have chosen. So, we should write it that way. So, it is a scalar. So, therefore, we have got dou r by dou e a cos theta f r minus a sin theta 1 plus r this is ok. Okay, here, uh, once we take it outside, so a will be coming here. See, for in this equation, uh, a was already taken off. So, uh, here there is no a present. Okay. So, once we take a outside as we have done here in this place, we have taken a outside and therefore, the a will appear in the denominator. So, uh, in this place we have multiplied by a. So, till now what we have got? We have got dou r by dou a and dou r by dou e and what other things are required? Those are dou r by dou capital omega, dou r by dou small omega okay, and dou r by dou y. So, I will conclude with this one. So, you can see that uh, the derivation may be little longer, but uh, if, you, if you follow a systematic trend, then you will get the result. Okay. So, I will conclude with this, uh, I will not derive everything here in this place. So, concluding the result here at this place, dou r by dou sigma dou r by dou a already we have done. So, dou r by dou sigma was remaining, dou r by dou sigma also we have to get. So, this quantity can be written as minus a e sin theta divided by Okay, this is one equation, then dou r by dou capital omega where u equal to omega plus theta. These three are here. The dou r by dou e already is written here. So let us say this is one. And this is two, three, four. Dou r by dou i we need to write here, and dou r by dou capital omega we need to write. Dou r by dou, dou r by dou capital omega already we have written. Dou r by dou a we need to write. So, previously we have derived. So, again we will 
summarize here in this place dou r by dou y dou r by dou a we have written as a for times minus a for times a by r for us. So, dou r this is minus a for times r by So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 5 and 6. So, once we have got this, now we need to uh, take the Langrange planetary equation and insert all these things in that equation to get the final format. So, therefore, a dot then becomes minus 2 by n a dou r by dou sigma. So, dou r by dou sigma we have written here. So, this quantity can be inserted. So, the Langrange uh, planetary equation, once we convert in terms of f r, f theta and f a, uh, so this is the way it looks like. So, you can see that r was not known, but here the f r uh, this generally the potential will be required, this potential can be from the perturbation of the say in the case of the earth and its satellite. So, it, it may be perturbation due to the non spherical earth, it may be perturbation due to the moon, okay, if, uh, moon, sun uh, all these things will be taken into account. So, in the case of uh, the aerodynamic drag once it is a present, so we have to go by this uh, not by this one. So, u t and u n and perpendicular to this vector which uh, I do not remember by which symbol we have denoted it. So, we will we need to utilize this, but this has also got its own application. Okay. So, this is the way we convert from one format to another format whenever it is required. And of course, it is difficult to remember these equations, it is not possible to remember all these things, but uh, for the exam purpose we will be more analytical and uh, with the understanding of the subject rather than doing the uh, just the mathematics or remembering it. Okay. Similarly, we have uh, E dot already I have concluded all these equations. If we go back and Here, if you see, if, uh, I have already concluded this part already I have written here 2 e sin theta n times 1 minus e square. Okay. So, the same thing we have arrived at by following a sequential way of working. So, once we let us expand it and write it in a proper way. So, this gets reduced to 2 e sin theta divided by n times 1 minus 1 minus c a square under root f r 
then this gets plus sign 2a divided by nr 1 minus c a square at theta. So, we'll quickly we will wind this uh, topic now. So, e dot now we can see that e dot will be 1 minus c a square under root divided by dou sigma. So, insert in this equation the quantities this quantities we have already written. So, and do r by do sigma we have to insert. And once we simplify it, this will get reduced to 1 minus c square. The rest of the steps you can carry out. I am skipping some of the steps here. Minus okay. Here we uh, this and this we simplify we write it this way e will cancel out e cancels out and this in the denominator we get is an a n a sin theta f r and then plus 1 minus e square to the power 3 by 2 e square cancels out this is n e r So, f theta term can be combined together and this can be written as e dot equal to 1 minus e a square under root divided by n a sin theta times f r plus So, this is the equation related to e, e dot. Okay, so, same way we can pick up the planetary equation, Langrange planetary equation, which will be appearing in this format, and then we need to replace the terms like this. So, if we do that, we get all the other terms. Then the sigma dot will be 1 minus c a square cos theta
okay, if uh, this thing I am leaving to you to work it out because once you know the basic things, so it is just a matter of inserting and simplifying the resulting equation. Okay, so this way we have uh, worked out all the necessary terms. Okay, and here uh, while writing this uh, one term we have missed out which we have written here this term was here r sin u divided by times cos i so the this is the correction here in this point. This is in the lecture 59. Okay. Okay, so, this way we conclude uh, this topic. Now, we still, uh, but uh, still our job is not done. See, if once we have got this planetary equation, so until unless we put this f theta and f r all these things and then integrate this equation, we won't be able to know what the value of e will be in the future. So, so we were looking for a general solution. So that step remains, but we do not have that much of lecture. So I will provide some of the material, supplementary materials to support all these things. And uh, for today, we stop here. Okay, with uh, note that. Here in this point, we missed this term in the previous lecture, we have inserted here. Okay. So, it is r sin u cos i, this is a. Okay, so, one small part is remaining which uh, uh, I wanted to do that in terms of uh, this this part we have done for the orbit is there then the fr ur cap is acting here in this direction perpendicular to this is the u theta cap and then we have ua cap the other case that we have to consider in that the velocity vector will be tangent to the curve which will be ut and normal to this we will have the un cap and perpendicular to this then we will have the ut cap cross un cap. So, a vector perpendicular to this unit vector. Now, this part still we have to do. So, what I propose that uh, this can be covered in the next lecture and thereafter we will wind up this topic. Uh, and then we will go into finding the sum of the terms like the um, in the case of the gravitational potential, how the potential in the case of the non spherical earth, suppose if we have a non spherical earth, it is not, not a sphere, but rather we have some extra material present here. So, because of this, the satellite will get perturbed. 
So, how to compute all these terms? Okay. So, I will discuss this in the next two lectures. I will uh, I will try to cover uh, this particular part, and the rest of the things I will provide as supplementary material because it's already 60 lectures uh, we have covered. Okay. So, thank you very much. We will continue in the next.